Meteorologist Steve Salsta in the First Alert Weather Center with everything you need to know. Yeah, that's right, Rick. So we saw some of the worst air quality on record earlier this month. This round not as long lasting or as intense, but still noteworthy, especially if you have respiratory illnesses. Take it seriously for tomorrow. Good news by tomorrow afternoon, we should be out of the worst of this current round of bad air. And then we get on to the weekend forecast, 4th of July, just hours away here in terms of the holiday weekend forecast kicking off. All right, so let's take a look at a code red here for tomorrow. That's an upgrade. If you were watching earlier this morning, it was code orange, code red, unhealthy for everybody. Limit your time outdoors and we'll get through it. Good travel Thursday and Friday. Friday, obviously, a huge travel day. There could be some isolated storms, so maybe you want to get a head start here tomorrow. Road conditions should be good. Weekend and Monday, we're going to be dodging these rounds of storms. Remember last weekend? Very similar to that. Some places get hit pretty hard. Other places probably will miss out on some of these storms, but any of these storms could have some locally heavy downpours. July 4th in this forecast, looking like one of the best days with sunshine and temperatures near 90. So code red, we'll have more on this coming up tomorrow morning, starting at 4.30 in the morning, but it, it will be tough to breathe. So get those latest air sensor reports here in your neighborhood, go to WJZ.com. So here's your planner for tomorrow. Just add hazy to this. This means the sky kind of looks milky in color, may look cloudy from time to time. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. It won't be exceptionally humid, even though it will look like that outside. Upper 80s, Catonsville, Pikesville, over to Towson, mid to upper 80s down by the airport, Glen Burnie, and over to Dundalk. So air quality alerts, that's widespread, but so is the extreme heat. And we're going to start to get a taste of that heat coming up Friday night into the weekend. And as that heat starts to build in here, so will the thunderstorms. That's kind of the gateway to the warm air. So by Friday afternoon, just isolated storms. But remember all the traffic on the road Saturday and Sunday, especially Saturday anytime during the day, but Sunday later in the day, any of these storms could have some ponding of water and obviously some delays with everybody out on the roadways during those days. You can see those rain chances walk up here by Sunday afternoon, especially Monday afternoon. It is looking pretty tough with storms, but by Tuesday, July 4th, our lowest chance of rain. So there's your future weather. You can see showers and storms breaking out as early as Friday evening. They're isolated. Friday night, we'll have to, wa we'll have to watch out for a strong storm. Saturday, it could pour at any time, but it won't be raining the entire day. By Sunday, later in the day, those storms coming our way. So your four-day forecast, upper 80s, hot and steamy in and around the city, but the beaches get some relief. I think Thursday is probably your best day. Friday, not so bad. And then by the time we get into Tuesday, it looks good. So that is some good weather, and life is always really nice down at the beach, right? You got the water, you got the boardwalk, you got the people. Yeah, it's looking good. So if you can't make it down to the beaches, here's your seven-day forecast. Upper 80s, those O's games, well, you're used to rain delays. Sorry, you may have a couple more here peppered through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I would say, especially Saturday and Sunday. Pump that air conditioning, get to the pool, keep cool. Monday looks like the best chance of some strong storms. Tuesday, though, Tuesday's the money day. That is fireworks time for many people. Looks like the best night. Fingers crossed that holds, Rick. I'll tell you what, that graphic, though, makes me feel like I'm in the ocean and at I, the beach. So thank I, you for we that. We can't be there. You know, just live through the graph. <laughs> it's as close as we can you get. Bet. All right, Steve, thank you. For more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Celia Gavrav and Tim Williams tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 4.30 a.m. All right, let's check.